Please subscribe to the Foul Mouth Al Show. We've made it so easy. I know you like it hard, but now it's fast and easy like me. So bring that hard on over and I'll show you how easy it is. Just go to our Facebook page. That's it. Now click the welcome link. Oh yeah, right there. Now gently put your email in and click subscribe. Oh baby, click it. Click it. Yeah, that's it. Click it. Click it now. Click it hard. Oh. 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 Oh, baby. See you next time at foulmouthal.com. Looky here. You got to get five friends. Tell them they got to get five friends. And everybody subscribe now to the foulmouthal.com. It's a party like 1999. How you guys? Move away for the show. What's going on? How's everybody doing today? Good job. Wait. I'm for Clemt. Where's the producer at? Uh, Ian. You gotta go like that. Uh, Where the hell's Ian like at? Yeah, he's, like producing. <laughs> he's producing my ass. That's quite an ass to produce. <laughs> Oh, God. Somebody count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Electric company, folks. There's 18 people in here. None of them are my fucking producer. All right, well, we're back to the Foul Mouth Al Show, everybody. As you can hear, I wasn't lying. There's a handful of people here. We got a full house. The grass heads must have got a flat tire. Wrong song. The grass heads must have got a flat tire. I don't know what the hell happened to them, but Alter Dagon is here. Yeah! We've got a handful of supermodels in the room. Miss Deanna Gardas is here. She's not just a supermodel. She can sing, and she is the whole package here. So we're going to talk to her in a few minutes. We have another young lady here named Alice Marie. Let's give Alice a hand. Miss Alice is getting her pictures done as we speak by Michelle Wallace of Michelle Lee Photography and Mookie, who is one of our photographers here at the show. Looks like Tom Arts and the Grasshead crew just showed up, so it looks like yeah. looks like we got about 30 motherfuckers in here now. <laughs> Has anybody seen our producer Ian? Well, I gotta cover that up. Produce, I guess. Anybody seeing Ian? He's in the bathroom Our producer. Producing. He's in the bathroom <laughs> producing something. It's about goddamn time Ian produced something. Where the hell's he at? <laughs> Polishing a turd. Okay. We have another uh, young lady here. Her name is Bellatrix De La Rouge. She is here. She's a supermodel here for the pinup counter. Let's give her a hand, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, some heavy competition out there for this. And we got a handful of young ladies lined up for next week. So uh, we're here with Miss Deanna Gardas. Did I say that correctly? You did. I'm impressed. Mine is McGuigan. And guess what? Every time at the emergency room, Mark McGuigan. <laughs> I'm like, he is some bitch. And he's in the emergency room a lot. Yeah, what are you doing there? Uh, Picking up chicks? Constant problems. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get syringes. I got issues. He's Hot Ronnie. He's dealing with the old people. <laughs> I got my, my hairbrush stuck in my ass again. <laughs> Bath salt. I just sat on it. Yeah, yeah every time he ODs on bath salts, right? Uh, Miss Deanna's here today. She is into old school death brutal metal. Is that right? Oh, God, no. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> she loves that kind of stuff. Let me describe her. She's sitting here. She has blondish hair around the front and sides in the front and fiery red around the rest. A red tattoo. What's on your arm there? This is a phoenix. Yeah, it's a that. phoenix on the arm. Out of the ashes comes the phoenix. And are you rising from some struggle in your life? Good God. Well... <laughs> You don't have to explain the idea of a phoenix, but I mean, considering I'm right-handed, you know, your opposite hand, arm, etc., is going to be the weaker of the two. And having uh, led quite a life up to, you know, 24 now, I decided about two years ago to put the phoenix on my weaker arm, and and so the you know story continues. Excellent, excellent. And the drama and saga goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's see. Your favorite thing to do when you have free time? I frequent local and what and national metal shows since you're in a band. What's the name of the band that you're in now? Mistress. Mistress. And what's happening? We can find Mistress at www.mistressband.com. And hard rock and metal 
based out of Philadelphia. Where are we playing next? Actually, we have not hit the stage in a year. Um, we've been recording an album. It's our first full length, and that's up in Center City. Um, we had been without a drummer and a bass player for about a year. Um, we recently became a four-piece again, maybe in the last two weeks. So we're looking to play in probably about a month, um, going for most likely Mojo Main, since we have not played that venue. Um, Mojo 13 was where we got all of our shows in Delaware and all of our like Delaware fan base and people who are into classic metal work. I live because the guys are in Philly, so I figured kind of high time to visit the other location. So I'm thinking late September. Late September? Yeah. It's coming up quick. That it is. September's yeah. coming up quick. Oh, that's my yeah. show. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right so I got a couple questions here. We're asking a lot of the models some different questions. Um, I wasn't prepared to answer questions. Uh, this is a, this is a pop <laughs> quiz. That's why. So. Uh, and Polish, I'm not a quick thinker. Where do clams come from? Uh, uh, Lake Vesuvius. Very good. Thank you. What country is Mexico in? <laughs> <laughs> An intelligent one we have. <laughs> Considering it's south of the border, you know, I guess you consider that Central America, wouldn't you? Which would be a country. Oh. Is that right? I thought I'll it was take South. That, I'll I don't take that back. Know. I'll take We've that back. we got three Americas <laughs> going on. Which most I thought it was had. South America. Am I wrong? Look, everybody's wrong. looking at me now. You're Let's wrong. move to the next question. I know. Who wrote these damn questions? He did. I could tell by this next one. Why do the Chinese squint all the time? Why would you write that question? <laughs> hey, man, I, I know how to speak Chinese. All right, how about this one? Here's a new question from this week. How many teeth are in a full set? Oh, it depends on where you're from. <laughs> 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 is that true, Ashley? If you're from, it's true. oh lord, it's true. let's say you're from. We have a joke where I'm from up north, which is uh, North of Poconos. What has three teeth and is 50 feet long? What's that? That's the uh, cotton candy line at the Wayne County Fair. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, you know the toothbrush was invented in Kentucky. If it was anywhere else, it would have been the teeth brush. So, no. uh, oh, Ronnie G. Wah wah wah. Is he going to Florida? <laughs> Hey, All right, one more question. I won't. I won't hit you with too many of these cr crazy questions. Uh, what is on Black Turn Island and also in our studio tonight? Ooh. This one's worth a hundred points. Sudden death. What else? Come on, this one's for the box of doom. Oh jeez, you're asking me right now. No, I'm not gonna difficult. put you. <clears throat> Who knows the answer? Bueller. Bueller. It's question again. I need it one more time. You better know that. What is on Black Turn Island and also in our studio tonight? What does that mean? Alter Dagon! Alter Dagon! Alter Dagon! Come on, you guys. What the hell? Come on. You can only get there by a boat. Yeah. yeah. It's on an island. Anyway. Oh, yeah. You guys watching Dagon, I see. Yes. <laughs> well, we're here with uh, Alter Dagon, and we just talked a little bit with Mistress. Man, I'm a stab you with a singer. Lead singer and guitar player, is that correct? I don't play guitar in the band, actually, I just sing. If you I tried sing? to play guitar in this band, I would keel over and die a horrible death and bleed out of my ears. Okay, so you're going to hang out and play a little bit of music with us a little bit later? Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Woo! I was getting ready to stab, stab her with an errand. All right. All right. Yeah, I think the young ladies are ready to get your pictures real quick because they're getting okay. hot. They're over here fanning and waving. My shirt. You only sweat for me, Michelle. You only have one uh, more I'm set of pictures yet, to do. I'm about to sweat through my shirt. I'll give it's you a claw. Is she the that. last one for mm -hmm. pictures? Okay, so we got one more set of pictures to do. We can turn them damn things off. They are hot. No, this is Albert's fan version of a wet T-shirt contest. <laughs> no, we do not have a fan. <laughs> Man, it sounds much oh, better outside of them damn headphones. Thank God I took yeah, them fucking crazy. things off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God. What the hell? Whose idea was it to wear headphones? Yours. You told us to all buy them. All right. Well, we're here. Alter Dagon's here. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like the grass heads came in over there. Yeah. Tom Archer's crew. All right, guys. Um, who speaks with Who's Who's your main speaker over there? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Anybody can huh? Bring one of these guys up. Oh, yeah? Bring one up. Come on up. Come on up. Rock, picture. Rock, paper, scissors. We're all out of order. We're all uh, discombobulated. And welcome to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Grassheads and Alter Dagon. Man, what the hell segment are we in? 
I tried. Man. I tried. That shit on fire. I tried. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a couple things to go over here before we can go any farther. Where the hell are my notes? Where's my damn producer at? Where's my producer at? Where's my notes? Where's my my cue on these guys? I don't even know who these guys are. No, I'm joking. Where's my uh, plugs, dude? Come on, Ian. Come on, Ian. Come on, man. Slide. Where's where's the uh, fifty things for for uh, your spreadsheet and all that shit? Oh man, that is. <laughs> it's rolled up in a piece of paper. And it's yeah, his dog ate it. it. Yeah, that's how you should have said, <laughs> yeah. said your dog, dog ate it, dude. Ate it. That would have been good. No, Squig's dog ate it. Wednesday, October fifth, we will be at Mojo Main on Main Street in Newark for our first live remote taping. We'll be there with the Foul Mouth Owl Pinup Girls, and we're inviting all the ladies to dress up, come out and dance the night away with Cough and Fly and the Foul Mouth Owl Crew. Any ladies dressed up as in pinup will get in free, and you know what? What the hell? All Miss Cougars and college girls get in free too. That's right, no cover for ladies. Live band. <laughs> And well, <laughs> and we'll even be taping an episode of the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Get in on the fun. That's Wednesday, October 5th at Mojo Main Street in Newark. Don't forget, we're doing our win a date with Ashley Smack on September 13th with all these guys here. I'm sure this last spot will probably be filled up before the night's over. Okay. <laughs> or to, she'll be filled up. Or she'll be filled up, right? That spot will be filled up. Uh, there's a free show this weekend at Mojo Main in celebration of their one-year anniversary with performances by Chrome Lord, The Fakirs, Rude Boy, and an acoustic set by Shane Palco. And the Foul Mouth Owl crew will be there as well doing a taping of that event. The third annual Breast Fest will be held Thursday, September 15th at the Oasis in Whaleyville, Maryland. The week of Bike Week. Raffles, contests, games, prizes, and of course, the best live entertainment. All the proceeds will go to the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition. And it's sponsored by the Oasis Bar and Grill and Semi-Blind Entertainment. Don't know those semi-blind guys. Anybody know them? I haven't seen them. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, you have some. The bands of that day will be Fast Nixon, Dustin Bones, Electric Company, Witches Brew, Deep Sea Research, Semi Blind, Fuzzbox, Piranha, Vivid Season, and DJ Siren. So check that out. Yeah. Look them up on Facebook. And um, we had a reaction from uh, no, Fuzzbox yeah. Piranha here. No, that's just because we have a band on our label called Beelze Fuzz, and I was just. <laughs> oh, BL's a fuzz, fuzzbox piranha. There's always a connection with that guy with fuzzbox piranha. It's always something. It's always gotta be fuzzy. It's always yeah, fuzz. <laughs> and fuzz is nasty. What Take it tell? off. <laughs> what do you like it shaved? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are you pointing at Ashley? <laughs> Asking if she is. <laughs> well, we did get some viewer mail, and uh, we got more viewer mail this week than we've ever had. <laughs> We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is my notes for, for uh, Grassheads. Good Thanks, job, Ian. Ian. Thanks, Ian. Good job, buddy. <laughs> we got four viewer mails this week. Dear Foulmouth Al, the thought of Squig tongue... Oh, wait a minute. This is regarding Squig and Ashley's toe sucking last week. Who's buzzing? Is that me? The thought of Squig... Excuse me. Dear, hey, foul mouth Al. The thought of Squig tongue lashing Ashley's toes was so erotic, I had a boner for two hours. I love the way she squealed like a pig. You did, you were like, ah, ah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you went nuts. And it was not fake for sure. She was all over the place with that one. As soon as his tongue hit her toes, I had to whack I off like three times popcorn. to calm down. <laughs> He had to whack it three times to calm down. I hope you captured it on video. That'll give me a better visual for my self-pleasuring session. Sign, Cooler T. Oh! Booker T. No, Cooler Booker T. Booker T. Dear Foul Mouth Al, this is a... Wow, that's like small... Subject, no listener mail, huh? I heard you had no listener mail this week, so I figured I might have a chance to get this on the air. Ashley is hot. Squig is hilarious. Ian is a lazy jackass and should be fired. <laughs> the music is great. I can deal with the rap and hip-hop, which I normally wouldn't listen to, but the artists you have brought to the show are a home run and have won me over. All right, that would be the Grassheads. They got One of the few artists, uh, rap artists that we have going so far that we've taken to. Uh, thanks and keep up the good work. And they didn't sign it. So, well, we appreciate your viewer mail or listener mail. We don't even have... Oh, we do have viewers because we have pictures, so... Hmm? 
We could call this viewer mail. Yeah, me Dear foul food. mouth out. Yeah, you eating cat food. Who saw that video? Did you guys see that video? That's toilet bad. bowl. Huh? Wait till you see the toilet bowl water he drank. Yeah, I drank I that shit too. That thing <laughs> You know what? It was like vinegar. Uh, you were playing dude. a game later with a box of doom. You guys want day. in? <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing? You guys sat down, so it looks like you guys are playing. As long as they sign the waiver. We're going to come up with some more doom ideas. Yeah, you got waivers done with everybody, sir? Yeah. And you can get two on one if you could with the groups. Dear Found Mouth Al Show, I will miss Ronnie G when he leaves your show. I love to listen to his weekly rock updates and just hear his voice on your show. I love his photos he had taken. He's like a sweet little teddy bear with all that hair on his body. I could cuddle with him forever. Could he please sing me a quick love song, something that will make my heart pound faster than when it does when I hear him on your show? You want to sing uh, Miss Susan Swallows a love song? <laughs> Come on up. Ronnie will, Ronnie will do a love song CD later in the, in the year. It was somebody named Susan Swallows. I... I don't write this stuff. <laughs> last one, folks. Dear Foulmouth Al, last week you had in some models. Today is Tuesday, still no pics or nothing. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. That's only because Michelle is booked. Actually, She's booked and backed up. That's all. You don't want pictures of the models up there and anyway, we're not putting the it? pictures of the models up. Well, we may put a few up, but we haven't put any up yet, and that's our choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Where's the hell the with you. <laughs> I don't think you had girls in there. It was a hoax. How many girls are here tonight? Hi. Hi. So we do got some girls. That was not Squig <laughs> pretending to be a girl. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Was squeaky, squeaky I'm here ball. too. So today's Tuesday, no pics or nothing. Don't shave. I don't think you had girls in there. It was a hoax. And when interviewing the girls, why aren't you describing them? Are, are they all 400 pounds and 4 feet tall? <laughs> how big? So we didn't. How big is pictures. Kate's boobs? We love boobs and need to know some pics, unless you're all full of shit. So who do we know? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Squig Tom said Bitch. to hell with that email. He don't care. We have girls here. None of them are 400 pounds. Probably all of them together aren't 400 pounds. <laughs> Miss Deanna will uh, argue that. That's for sure. So. It's all my ass. Well. That booty box. Where the hell are we at? We're in the second uh, segment here already. Oh my goodness, we're running behind big time. I said already, but we're running behind. So we're here with, today with the Grassheads. How you guys doing, man? Good uh, to meet you. Good to meet you. Where's too. your other guys? Bring another guy up. We got another seat. These guys are getting some shots. Who we got here? We got. I know you're Tom. This is Quan. This is Quan Don. Who else we got over there? Introduce these guys. We got we got my man Summers back there. Summers. And we got my cameraman Solo's Way Productions right there. All right, so you got a cameraman. You yeah. got a, you got a groupie with you. All right, <laughs> camera guy, the hangout guy. And I think uh, if I was young and, and, and young, I'd want to hang out with the Grassheads too. Well, who the hell wouldn't want to hang out with the Grassheads? Hey, let me see your fingers. You got calluses on them bitches? Mm, who's texting? Who's doing all that Me. Facebook? <laughs> Good Lord! <laughs> You're busy. Did they pay you for that? I wish. Mm. He's just, you'd be rich. Yeah, I got it. Like 25 cents a text? Got to Gotta start somewhere. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Yeah. I'll, I'll check your shit out. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> no problem, man. So, we're popping up there just like you. We're taking over that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all Sweet coming out. All important. We're all coming <laughs> out. So how long you guys been together? Uh... It's been, I st we actually started it about a year ago. It's coming up on a year in September. Well, actually, it's been a year, yeah. So, but we haven't all, uh, me and him, we've been making music since about 05. Since like 04, cool. 05. But we actually came together as a group about a year ago. Here we are. Awesome. So you're moving right along. You're writing lots of music. Every time I turn around, there's a new link up there, a new song coming out, something else going. You guys are doing stuff together. You're doing stuff individually, too. Is that yeah. right? So you're just out there working, working, working. So that's what I've noticed about a lot of successful artists in all genres of music is the bottom line is the harder you work, the luckier you will get. Exactly. You know, the harder you work, the luckier you get. You just keep hammering at it, and good things will come to you if you're doing the right thing. So I was listening to a song one night, and I heard him say something about foul mouth in there. Is that, has that got something to do with our show, or is that? Yeah, it does. Huh? Yeah. It does. That's Thanks. awesome. Thanks. Thank you. We're immortalized. Yes. In, 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 in music history forever now, thanks to the grass. Let's hear the words. Who yeah, sang well, it? What was it all about? I, I tried to get some lyrics from you. I couldn't get it, though. 
<laughs> I said, uh, damn. I said, foul mouth uh, said he's herbal. Oh, I said, I said foul mouth said it's herbal friendly, so you know we about to lose it. So you we're gonna lose it. So yeah. what does that mean? We're gonna lose it. Well, I don't know what he did, but I'm sure he was rolling up some uh pretty good stuff. Yeah. So when you're losing it, that's what that means. Yeah, it's time much. to relax. Yeah. It's 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 <laughs> militant. Yeah. You know <laughs> there ain't no. It's. <laughs> now what about bath salts? Are y'all into that shit? No. no. Ronnie no. is. Ronnie is. If you need bath salts, Ronnie. Can. <laughs> Ronnie does that. That shit. shit's crazy though, isn't it? These kids are going into the yeah, tobacco I, store and yeah. there's like a big vial of incense, and the one girl's got getting a hundred dollars worth of it. I'm like, what in the hell they have, is going on? They have on? like uh, they have like replacement speed and ecstasy and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. the speed. That that's what yeah. the bath salts. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's yeah, what you no talk. way in the world. <laughs> Not man-made stories. Yeah, like in like, 20 years, you know, when these guys are having kids with th- three eyes and 12 fingers. You wonder why. If that shit's cool and they're good on music with that, now that's different. But, I mean, I'll try it then. I don't want to fuck with it now. I'm no. too old for that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you might find out you like it. Next thing you know, you got an ear growing off your fucking forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you never Could you imagine being uh, 14, coming to puberty, and have extra finger, extra pinkies? <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, you guys certainly aren't no strangers to uh, the recreational substance abuse, obviously. <laughs> use, uh, you know, uses, and, and, and you know. So, but I mean, you know, I, I'd say the, the the some of the stuff you're promoting, uh, the cannabis and stuff, it's been tried and, and tested, and what's the results? Uh, it's a success. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's a success. How much that costs? Great success. It's a great success, right? But I mean, are people like wrecking their cars and dying all over the Definitely world over this not. shit? No, no. You know, because I mean, you don't do that with no. weed. Definitely you do that not. with beer. Yeah, just gotta talk about yeah. Well, well, alcohol is more dangerous than weed is. You got that by far. Yeah. yeah I mean, and it's legal. Yeah, yeah and it's legal. <laughs> Man, it's if legal. I get high, go to work. And play some people, a month people, every week. Some people need that. Some people need that one or two J's a day to be mm. balanced out. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah, of course not. I was just, I was just laying a little basis for the, for the one beer. or two. Some people are heavier hitters, right? Yeah, of course. damn right. Add some light Of course. You never, never seen anyone get completely high and fight or pass out or nothing like that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You're like this. Definitely oh, I'm high. Out. How are you, man? I'm high. How are you? <laughs> See, I like you because I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody on the side of the team. Yeah, but it's yeah, kind of it's kind of sk- get ignorant over a bag of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah, right. Man, that's my pizza, bitch. Yeah, but then they're too lazy to even fight over it. You know what I mean? No, no, never to blows, never to blows. You get all bath salted yeah, up, yeah, Lord knows bad. you might jump out a damn window or something. <laughs> now vodka and shit, you get the blows and then you go. Oh, I grew up in a city. I grew up in Baltimore, and I've seen kids. I've seen a kid jump out a window one time. I've seen a kid jump through a glass window, and it wasn't like way up high or nothing, but he was. You jump through a glass window, yeah. bro. Something you ain't thinking straight. You know you what sure I mean? Sure, you didn't push him out. I had, I was running away from that scene. I was yeah, like, you oh. pushed him and ran away. I was a little kid, man. You're walking down the street. And next thing you know, somebody comes busting out a glass window. Like it's like this scene. ain't Hollywood, bitch. This is downtown Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> what, no. what is it's he the thrown out of a bar? What, what happened? Why no, did actually, doing? his brother, him and his brother, were high on something, yeah, and the one brother threw the other brother out out the window. They got fighting. Two guys got fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've I've seen I've seen a guy. He drank too much, and I know he was on some kind of pills. And he went to step up on his step, and he lost his balance. You know, so up in the city, you're up three steps, and then there's a curb, and then the street, and there's not that big of a sidewalk. He comes down, hits the corner of his head on the sidewalk, and there's purple <laughs> blood running down the gutter. And this guy comes out of hospital. Now he's got a big crater in his head, and he's like, hey, anymore. And then he ended up, that guy ended up dying because he was back on pills and drinking after all that. And he set his damn bed on fire and burned up in the house. So, you know, some of this stuff. And, and, and then the. He's on a string of bad luck, I'm thinking. Yeah, he needed to tell five for foul mouth out by Friday. That's for damn sure. He did. That's for damn sure. So what's happened? Are you guys playing any music? You playing any gigs anywhere? Or uh, lately we've we've just been in the studio a lot. But the next show that we know of, uh, we have a show coming up in on Halloween in Sicklerville, New Jersey. And then after that, we have the show in November on November nineteenth. We're opening up for Meek Mills. So. Are you guys, um, so so you're just doing some recording right now? Yeah, we got the mixtape. Are you out. managed by anybody? You doing any, got anybody promoting you? You guy over there? Yeah. Weezy. 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 Cool. Who's doing your uh, your video and 
stuff like that because I saw you got a guy doing uh, taking footage. Oh well, uh, the first video. Are you talking about our actual music video? No, no, I didn't see that one. I, oh yeah, but sometimes we just take random footage. But that's a guy right there. You do all the editing and stuff for him. Yeah, for most part. All right, well, leave me your card. I want to talk to you after the show, too, right? All right. So, <laughs> trying, just trying to network out there. The studio that produces this show is a videography studio. That's what, that's what it does. So just trying to meet as many people in that arena as I can. So, so you guys are doing a show in October. Yeah. Uh, you plan on doing other shows after that or really kicking yeah, that up? Or? Yeah, as soon as the, as soon as the mixtape comes out, we plan on just pushing So what's it. a Grasshead show consist of? Is there, you got dancers going on? What's happening with the show? Nah, Tell it's me. Just, it's just our crew. It's just getting up there yeah. rapping, yeah, checking it out. It's just our crew. Well, let me ask you something. <laughs> Where's that girl in that uh, profile picture? Which one? That one smoking that thing. Which one? The hot girl so, uh, so with the heels. Pictures. I have so many pictures, I couldn't tell you. With a lighter and a little bottle of pills sitting there. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that picture is old, actually. No. Oh, 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 she's old now? Fuck her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. You got the, he has the right idea. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, she was hot. I saw I her. Say, and I she say party, that. man. I can say that. A little bit. Oh, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to check the picture out. I guess he'd been telling me it about it all week. It wasn't pills. It was a, uh, it was a medical cannabis container. Yeah, they don't, they oh, don't yeah. mess with that stuff, man. Yeah, that no stuff's pills. horrible. No, no pills. pills. Good, because yeah, no it makes you balls. The same fat, way, anything, you anything narcotic or yeah. pills or anything like that. I don't. It's gotta come from the earth. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah. That's it. Weed. I don't even That's like it. drinking. I mean. Oh yeah, I definitely get drunk. I mean, people could drink, and I used to drink all the time, and you know that's that's all fine and dandy. But the bottom line is. When you're at that bar drinking and you go to leave, you put yourself and other yeah. people at risk. Yeah. And that's the and that's you, you hear that, legal. Ronnie? Yeah, it's legal. You hear that, Ronnie? Hey, Ronnie? Bass salts are legal. Bass salts, salts are they're very legal. Yeah. Yeah. Very legal. He got a BUI. <laughs> Good Lord. Bass salts are legal. All right. <laughs> Check out the grass heads on Facebook. What's the website, guys? Uh on Facebook. What's the, we we well they can look up grass heads on well, Facebook. You can, yeah, you can uh I don't, I don't know what the URL is, but I'm sure if you type in it, it'll be the first one to pop up. But we have a website, uh, grassheads.tumblr.com, and he's actually supposed to be uh, working on the, our actual website, our actual .com. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that, cool. that should be coming soon. All right, well, check out the Grassheads. Like their page. Check out their music. It's awesome. We're going to play a quick song by the Grassheads, and we'll be back in a few minutes, and we're going to interview a couple of the supermodels are here, and then we'll be back with... Altar of Dagon. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Yo, what's up, kids? If you're sitting at home with nothing to do, bored because you're a loser, you should pull up to the Foul Mouth Al show. You know why? It's awesome. Right intellect. Yeah. Uh. Embellished it forever and is nowness. Hey, 19 years ago, the shit was founded. Hair in the cloud, somehow my feet are grounded. Dick on one hand, more than the other, there's really no pussy for putting around it. I'm just airing out the truth. Let them so called rappers drown it. It's only one way up, so tell me who you down with. Been saying the most exciting shit, I never get surprised it, cause I'm quite the individual, but my mind is always so crowded. If you got low expectations for me, so highly doubt it. A man, I stand on my own, I give a fuck who co signs it. I'm bad, bitch, reminded. Real niggas, old blind. Now tell me which one of you haters can shut the fuck up the loudest I, I, I put my all in, so I'ma go all out, all out. I think I'm mind vomiting, regurgitate your heart out uh, Other than on my side, we spit it all out uh, We shake it all out, uh, I grab it all out uh, And I am dazed and confused Lost in this place and I don't know what to do, hey babe. I do me, I do you Swerving up the tree, leaning on the juice, hey, hey. And I am dazed and confused, lost in this place, and I don't know what to do, hey, baby. I do me, I do you, swerving up the tree, leaning on the juice, hey, Yo, the Fuji's hey, like it, it's so can it be, can it be? It's candy king, we puffin' oxygen organically. Departure for certain, the purple never perpetrates. Nervous system goes berserk and racist. 
pin drips into the first lane inside insanity high tailing bailing trial adjourn rubber pillin' back in the deep position holders as well as i do a roller flick of the tongue and then i'm over orgasmic euphoria oral orientation interviewed by my few gas and huh, as for the atmosphere i never fear fibrous pain weakness released when it's cheap that feels better i grab and piece together this ensemble of truth deceit and reap the benefit the sleeper seeks the entrance to my soul so never not anyone's but my own take that pride it's secret stone it has me the asthma miami ugly family grass heads hometown crushes the dirty middle classes and i am dazed and confused Lost in this place and I don't know what to do, hey, baby. I do me, do you, squirting up the green, leaning on the juice, hey, baby. And I am dazed and confused, lost in this place and I don't know what to do, hey, baby. I do me, do you, squirting up the green, leaning on the juice, hey, baby. Uh, press it international, let me check your passport. You were just a test dummy, welcome to my my crash course someone get the camera out because you know that i'm snapping and by the morning i'm asking what happened and now i'm laughing purple tinted smoke planes road husky like gold ropes they love the kid so they call him dope I don't really show it, but I know it means the most. Grass heads, glass house, maxing on the coast. I'm the type to smoke till I fucking choke. Only 300 on the feet, just the boast. I'm so high, I'm floating like a ghost. Grass head dot tumbler, check the post. Trying not to be a casualty to this rap thing. Good weed keeps the monster sane. It's kinda crazy when you're mixing two strains And watch it turn to smoke, call me David Blaine And it's a shame, tell me who's the blame Just some modern day hippies figuring out our way Niggas want the money but they're scared of this change This is how we do, nothing really changed This is how we do, nothing really changed Time works, raw intellect Side in this bitch. I'm out. I'm out. And I am dazed and confused, lost in this place, and I don't know what to do, hey, babe. I do me, do you, swerving up his ring, leaning on the juice, hey, babe. And I am dazed and confused, lost in this place, and I don't know what to do, hey, babe. I do me, do you, swerving up his ring, leaning on the juice, hey, babe. What, do you want me to actually sing? Sing that song you were just singing. Miss Deanna's going to play some guitar <laughs> for us. She brought this beautiful guitar. Um, we have quiet on a set. Uh, this is a song about my uncle who passed from cancer when he was 22. It's sitting right there on my arm. There actually aren't any lyrics because I don't think that words could possibly describe the effect he had on our family at all. Um, ever. So I've left it lyricless because my voice would just kind of cut through the uh, aura of the song, but simple finger pick stuff. I haven't played in quite a while. What's his name? Duke? His name is Thomas Gusher Jr., but we called him Duke since he was born. <clears throat> it's called For Duke because I'm so creative. <laughs> <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I wrote it, geez, two years ago, but I don't play it often. This one's about my brother, and it's called Brother. Once again, my creativity just shines right the fuck through, doesn't it? Check it out. That girl tears it up. She is rocking and rolling. Her little fingers were ripping over there. She tore that up. Was that Jazz 3? That was her Jazz 3 pick that she found over there. These things are really like it's just fluid. Yeah, alright. If I had that pick, I could play like that. Yeah, I'll have to get me a pack of those things. Like, Just like the phoenix and the fiery hair she's got, she's a ball of fire. <laughs> Mistress, check them out. Check them out. What was that funny song you were just playing over there in the break? <laughs> yeah, play it, play it, play it. I was making that crap up. Really? It was great. I loved yeah. it. Which one? The one about the death metal. The Child of Lucidity one. Get off the siege. <laughs> oh, the Queensryche one? Queens. Bleh. Silent Lucidity. Oh, yeah. I remember that song. <laughs> Oh no, I gotta add lib. Yeah, yeah, do it. Hush now, metal core kid. Your band is nothing but a couple of squid. Wearing tight pants. <laughs> I don't know how you got the show. But somehow, with your gel up hair, you're taking off on my fucking room. <laughs> you ain't metal. Shut the 
Was that an impression of some sort you just did? <laughs> she ended the song with an impression of some kind of strange animal. All death penalty. It was flipper. Smiling next to you in silent disguise. You <laughs> fucking fag. <laughs> Yay! Deanna Gordis. Lead singer and front girl for Mistress. Check her out. That was great. Unscripted, live, beautiful. And winging it. That's yeah. like a, making up a rap song in your head and singing. Is this oh, yeah. oh, look, that's Led Zeppelin. I knew that. Mm -hmm. I can't I love quit Zeppelin. you. Babe. Yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> oh, man, I used to love that song. Everybody Who's going to sing? Alter Dagon, you know this one. Come on, guys. That's awesome. Hey, hey, I got an idea. Hey, can you guys rap over something that she plays? Sure. Like freestyle. Who's coming up? Why don't you guys come up? I like playing funky shit. What? Topic. Oh, topic? Ask her. She'll give you a topic. What you want the topic to be? What's that? What you want the topic to be? The show. Us. Found out now. Ashley Smack, Squid, Johnny G, Ian. The fact that we're in a basement oh. doing a radio show on a poker table. All right. We could do it. But it's got to be a good Glad show. I've done this before. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. She does play Valhalla by Blind Guardian and say, fuck it. <laughs> All right, so Tom Arts from the Grassheads is sitting in with Deanna, front girl for Mistress, and she's going to wing something on the guitar. The topic's going to be the Foul Mouth Owl Show, and Tom Arts is on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, we're going to take it down to the ground. Yeah, yeah. I told Weezy to put the, uh, I said I told Weezy to put the, I said I told Weezy put the, I told Weezy put the address in the GPS. Where the fuck is this gonna take us? Down to Smyrna, couple miles down, but it's a blunt ride. I don't really give a fuck, grass says stay high. And my crew is in here, foul mouth, foul show, where the fuck are you? You probably on the web, looking at my page, find something to do. Cause this is what we do, all day do. Get high with my crew, check my fucking shoe. Uh, I said high with my crew, check my fucking shoe. Uh, uh, we in the basement, chilling on the poker table. Red haired girl on the guitar, I don't give a fuck cause Tom are C stars. Cause I am the one, chosen, grass heads, I don't give a fuck, sleep till I'm dead, never, never that, cause I got a fucking five panel hat and it is supreme, from New York, catch my scene, teach, oh, see my steez, bring it back, bring it back, switch it up, switch it up, switch it, switch it, uh, 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 yeah. Okay, so I got more words to say, and I'ma let it spray, kinda like an AK, but not in these days, I don't do that, just get high, all I do is write rhymes and touch thighs, brass head guy, I am the general, I am the captain, sit the fuck down for I start slapping you, all in your face, foul mouth said get him, so I got him, put him in his place, now I'm in a race, first place, baby, touch me if you can, I'm the gingerbread man, Tom Mars, baby, uh, stay fresh like Maybelline, catch my baby on the scene, maybe YSL, you know the deal, oh, cause you know we got the skill, and the team with the hard power, and we got the will, 2011, we gonna touch down like the towers from 9-11 I don't give a fuck cause you know I'm high to the heavens climbing through all the stars climbing through all the stars I kinda want my boy Quan to hop on let me let me Let's give it up for Tom 
I don't even know what I want. I don't even know what kind of joint I want. You can just do whatever, I guess. You're the baddest man in the crew, ain't <laughs> That was Tom Arts. Now we got Quan Don's going to give something a little different here. That's that's like, that's you look intelligent. You run it. He looks that's like he saves it. Sing? Sing? Not even. <laughs> he raps it. Yeah, I rap it. He spits it. Spits it. Spits Ooh! It. Ah. <laughs> uh. 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 They call me Quan Don, Mr. Perrion. She's shaking it like a pom pom. I keeps it real, I'm a king, where's the palace? I'm in my wonderland like Alice On the foul mouth owl show You know how that go I come in, step it, it with it Full throttle, no fitted It's a snapback, full strap I keeps it real, no snapback Uh, no backpack, uh Quan Don from that snap I used to hang out with Sap and Bill S- Uh Damn. <laughs> I'm all high and shit, man. Like, damn. They got me on the mic all high and shit, man. Like, <laughs> your grass heads. What do you expect? <laughs> That's what we're expecting. <laughs> I can't even go in how I want to, man. <laughs> all right, man. Well, that was great. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Nobody needs the radio. Our motto here is "fuck the radio." This is the <laughs> new radio. We don't. We're not owned by the record companies, and uh, the FCC isn't governing us. So we're bringing it real. This is the real deal here, folks. Hey Albert. Yes. I asked Arthur Dagon. Hold on. I hear. I hear. I hear a voice. Where you at? Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm over so many here. people I, in here. I didn't see you, Squig. I asked Arthur Dagon if they uh, knew any. Have enough people here and equipment to do an acoustic. They said yes. Yeah, right. Huh? I did? I heard one song that somebody said, hey, what about this song? Right? (laughs) Well, we're going to have them up here in a few minutes. They'll have an opportunity. (laughs) If they want to jam, they can jam. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back. We're going to interview the two supermodels that are here for the pinup calendar and uh, Altar of Dagon. We'll be back in a few minutes with the Foul Mouth Al Show. If you want to do better in school, there are three things all good students must do. I'm Ronnie Giovanni with the Foul Mouth Owl Student Advisory Message. Number one, always listen to the teacher. Number two, always study your test. Number three, spend the weekend whipping it up with the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Subscribe on iTunes. Besides, cheese. <laughs> GH Homegrown This some grass head shit You know? You know? You know? Shout out my nigga Raw Intellect My nigga Tom Art Tom Art and my nigga Quan Dong. You feel me? It's weed on the mic. I'm smoking. smoking. Before we get started here, um, I'm gonna need you to do one thing. And that's roll the fuck up. <laughs> I don't care what you use, paper, swisher, dutchy, whatever. You can use a bong call, I give a fuck. Smoke some. I match. I got a blunt of that homegrown right here. <laughs> Enjoy that shit. And for those who want to know what a grass head is, let me tell you. A grass head is a musically inclined, I repeat, a musically inclined 
I repeat, a musically inclined stoner. You know I mean? Smoke weed, listen to music, make music, and it's great music. Bitch. Sometimes we even get lost in that shit. <laughs> You about to do the same motherfucking thing. GH! I can touch it with my tongue, big <laughs> Yeah, the seat. Ronnie's jealous because <laughs> You're a Squig though. got to lick Ashley's toes last week at the, uh, <laughs> as the loser from the Box of Doom. <laughs> he chose <laughs> Ashley's <laughs> list, lick Ashley's feet this week. So. Oh, that one? Yeah. And Ronnie G, what the hell are you even doing here? You're supposed to be in Florida. <laughs> Next week, baby. You were tell- that's what you said last <laughs> week. What were you on, yeah, bath salts or something? Oh, that's great. No, I didn't. Oh, I know, I know. All right, well, we're here with the two supermodels who are here for the pinup calendar, Miss Alice Marie. Ow! <laughs> How are you, Miss Alice? I'm all right, you know. Welcome to the Foul Mouth Al Show. Thank you for having me. Hey, thank you for coming. <laughs> what? So, uh, you're, you're here for the pinup calendar. Are you a full-time model? Is this what you do full-time? No, actually, this is my first time doing it. This is your so. first time. Yeah. Very good. Well, welcome on down. We'd like to... Um, we we're oh, glad to be your first in, in some things. Are yeah. you excited about it? It's yeah, all no, good, right? Yeah, I've been wanting to do well, it for a while. You're all so. beautiful, yeah. so it should feel good. Actually, yeah, we're, we're definitely not 400 pounds. Mm. So, mm. so, whoever that viewer was. Mm. Just. That was Al's ex-girlfriends that we had, the 400 pound girls. Yeah. yeah, that was my ex-girlfriend from like sixth grade. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That was, uh, she's not going to be in the, she's not going to make the cut for the calendar, oh, though. Thank so. you, Sue. Hope not. Anyway, <laughs> so we asked these girls some questions here. If it's hot and humid outside and you're tired of being outdoors, or it's hot and humid outside but you're tired of being indoors, what are you going to do? And um, Miss Alice said she's a night sort of person anyway, cool off in the pool. So do you, you stay up all night a lot of times? Yeah, no, usually I go to, you know, I wake up at uh, like 2. <laughs> and, you know, I stay out Wait a minute, six. you wake up at 2 in the afternoon? Yeah, okay. you know, like, I mean, like, I'll be up, but I won't. In the afternoon? What? She huh. sleeps till 2 in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm getting off work. Oh, uh, well, I, I work nights anyway, so, I mean. But, Where do you work? Uh, Can bread. you say? Yeah. No, maybe. I don't know. Purebred deli. Purebred? Yeah. Just a deli. Yeah. The deli? <laughs> yeah. Okay. As long as it's not a corporation. Or no, I don't, I don't yeah. think it, you know, it's nothing big. <laughs> so... So you wake up at two in the afternoon. Yeah, pretty much. And then so you and Ian have Ian. similar schedules. Yeah, yeah. probably. This guy. <laughs> How old are you? Um, I'm about to be 18. About to be 18. You have a pastel dress on. Yeah. Looks like a vintage dress. Is it an older dress? Uh, I hope so. I mean, it said vintage when I bought it on eBay. So. It, it looks <laughs> It looks like an older dress. Yeah, yeah. It's, I tried to go pretty vintage with it for your little, for your uh For the pinup look? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how 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 late were you sleeping in Squig when you were eighteen? I, uh, eighteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen years old. Yeah, as long as I can. As long as you could. So we know we we remember. I, the, I remember those days anyway. Squig yeah, may not. I slept like a bitch. Yeah. So it looks like you're uh, pretty much up for just about a lot of stuff that we're looking to do here with the Foul Mouth Owl Show. It looks like you're outgoing and ready to take a dare. Who wants to give her a dare, guys? Oh, no. Everybody's got their hands up. <laughs> Arthur, let him give it to you. No, we're not going to do that to you today. That's, that's only if you, uh, if you win the, uh, the contest. You've got to take a couple dares there. So, um, What got you interested in doing modeling? I, ever since I was a kid, I've just been a, like my parents would get me little Kodak uh, disposable cameras, and I'd just go wild with them and take pictures, and then just be just be interested to like get them. And why developed. did you hold out until now for your first modeling experience? I am a procrastinator. Just needed. Yeah, just I'm about to just turn needed a little encouragement. And, I guess so. yeah, she kind of pushed me. And yeah. and uh, <laughs> miss, once you do it once, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Up in the mirror. Oh, God. You're fine. My glasses are off. I believe we're closed. You guys rolling? Yeah. Oh. Rolling out on us? Yeah. All right. You don't have she looked in the mirror. Oh, and I saw 
I'll get up with you guys. Hey, I appreciate you coming. Nice meeting all you. Appreciate it. I'll be with you guys. Thank you. The grass heads are rolling out on us. So, Miss uh, Bellatrix here encouraged you a little bit to get into the modeling, come out yeah, with her tonight. Awesome. Okay, cool. awesome. Awesome. So, well, I wish you luck with our contest. We're going to ask you a couple quick questions here. Uh, we got a couple questions here. Let's see. Miss Alice, um, what two colors make the color purple? Red and blue. Red and blue. Very good. <laughs> Very good. There was no hesitation on that. How about... Um, how many teeth in a full set? It's 32. Right? 32. This girl's educated. <laughs> what did, did you go I to say college? Outside? I already said outside. I said, we got a smart one. Oh, did we? With me? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> smart one. She knows her shit. Oh, well. All right, well, let's give her a tough How one here. How many balls does guys have? I mean, at, le at least two, right? Normally. <laughs> She's so freaking at least two. smart. Very yes. good. Very good. Oh, okay. how old are you? I'm 12. Oh, she got that one wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you have to get one wrong in order to qualify for the foul mouth owl <laughs> right. pinup contest. So. So. <laughs> All right. Enough of that silliness. What's the capital of Maryland? I, I, wow, sh I should know that, huh? Look at that. Oh. Don't you live in Maryland? No, I live in Delaware. Oh. Oh. What's yes, the capital of Maryland? I Annapolis. Have no, I'd, like elk? Elk? no, not. <laughs> elk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see it. For you folks from Maryland, you, I hope you do know that oh, Elkin oh, is not oh, the capital. It's, it's Baltimore, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Sellersville. All right, guys. She said Baltimore. Right? Wrong. Okay. Oh. Have they done their show research and listened previously oh, to what you're saying? It's Annapolis. Oh, really? I don't know. Yes, okay, no. Annapolis. I had to. You weren't here. Is this thing on? This thing ain't even on. What the? What's that background? All right. Huh? I hear static. There's water running somewhere. There's no noise, Ronnie. There's no noise. No, I don't hear anything. I don't, hear, I don't hear people talking. Everybody's quiet. Sounds like a, like a TV. It's a toilet running upstairs. <laughs> Ron, Ron, it's Ronnie, it's your bath salts kicking in, buddy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. You missed it, bitch. <laughs> Squeak said, no. Kevin said, they know me. <laughs> and then Squeak said, did he say Obi Wan Kenobi? <laughs> Squig is nuts. <laughs> All right, well, we're here with uh, Bellatrix de la Rouge. How are you today, dear? Very good, yeah. Very good, as always. And it uh, looks like you're into pop punk music. Yes. You're into water slide racing. Yes. <laughs> what is water slide racing? <laughs> Where, like, you try to, there's like two water slides or more, and like everybody goes at the same time. You see who gets like the oh, most. Oh, I thought you had a hill at your house and a big canvas and some I was oil. Thinking, oh, slip slide. and slide. Yeah. 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 Can you yeah. cheat? Do you cheat? Uh, no. Vaseline, I mean, anything, just roll down it. I mean, come on now. That's what you're into. You got a boogie to boogie. Oh, look. She got me. Depends on how much you like back there, Squid. You know what I mean? You know how much I like? Ian's. Never mind. Oh. Wow. All right, well, let's see. I got a couple of questions here for you, too, Miss Bellatrix. So, is this your first modeling experience? Uh, yeah. It is, actually? Mm -hmm. It is? You got, we're getting all the new models. Looks like we're breaking them in. Were you nervous, too? Uh, nah. Nah? It was just, it was more awkward than nerve-wracking, to be honest. Awkward? What's that, because Michelle? Because the photographer? Because, well. like, the person that's like, hey. Michelle said you guys did very well. Oh, well, thank you. So, you. our professional photographer likes you guys. Michelle Wallace! So that's a plus. Looks like you're into music. Miss Deanna here, she's not only into music, she plays music, sings music. Hell, she was making shit up. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. You are awesome. The Foul Mouth Owl pinup girls are a home run. Come on, guys. You got to go. It's going to be a good contest. This is going to be an awesome contest. We're just going to add extra months to the calendar and keep them all, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could do an 18 or 24 or yeah, month A two-year calendar. calendar. So that's it. If you, if you sign up and you, we get you in the door, it looks like we're going to have a 24-month calendar. With a free flashlight, yes, a flashlight. It turns into a vibrator if it doesn't work, right? Yeah. No, a flashlight is a vibrating thing you put on your cock, Mark. Oh. <laughs> 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 
squig, squig, squig. Okay, Look, so... if you need a flashlight to find the hole, something's wrong with your ass. It's not flashlight. Something's wrong with the girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, squig goes in with one of them lights on his head. Yeah. 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 He goes in with the miner's cap on. Right. He had that on last week when he was licking Ac- yeah. Ashley Smack's That's toes. Right. Yeah. Scuba gear and all. Scuba gear Tastes and all. Like chili without meat. So this is your first modeling experience, <laughs> Miss De La Rouge. Gravy. <laughs> hot dog gravy. <laughs> and what the fuck is hot dog gravy? Who in the there hell is knows? no such thing. Came out your mouth, baby. Oh lord, it came out of your mouth. Hold on, hold on. What's this here? Cracks. What's going on here? And you liked it. Shut the fuck Good up afternoon. You loved it. Hello. No. Who's this? This is James. James. I was, uh, I was hoping to. Grass heads on the radio tonight. Yeah, they just left, man. You just missed them. They just left. Yeah, you got I the call. Them. Call oh, back. Man. Call back next week about this time. Next, they want me on next week. Yeah, call back next week. All right, yes, All right. sir. All right, man. Thank you. That motherfucker is drunk. So y'all, did y'all hear that? Or <laughs> Where's Ryan? He's a little late. He said, "I'm calling to hear the grass heads on the radio." <laughs> I email people, they don't listen. What time's your radio show come on? We're not on the radio. Man. Well, okay, well, play my music and let me know what time your radio show comes on. I have people at work say, what station are you on? Yeah. I'm like, what that's the that's fuck cool. are you talking about? I mean, <laughs> I tell them, but if they don't listen, that's that's not my fault. Dot com. So anyway, we're here with Miss De La Rouge, and she, this is her first modeling experience. Uh, what got you interested in modeling? Um... I mean, I've always seen other people be models, and it's just kind of intriguing because you can put on a whole other personality, and you get to be whatever you want to just for a day, and you get to explore like different ways of dressing and different ways of expressing yourself, and I think that's a really cool way of it. Kind of like Halloween. Yeah, basically. And kind of like a gay in the closet. What? I mean, I guess you could say that. <laughs> and Squig would know about that. Squig would know about that, yes. Yes. <laughs> So I was expecting to meet your boyfriend tonight, Sheldon. He has work. He's working. Okay, well, you guys are obviously back together. A few weeks ago, you put a thing up on Facebook. You guys weren't getting along. And then all of a sudden, it's like, uh, ask my boyfriend, Sheldon, what his genital wart cream smells like. And I'm like, oh, that was you? <laughs> That's why you got... <laughs> what's that on? Squ- Squig's asking, what's that on her lip? This is a lip ring. Uh, it's a lip ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sore or anything. Quiver. What does that look like? I, I mean, it's black. Listen, girls, I understand if you're mad at your boyfriend because he had to give you general, he gave you general warts, but don't put it on he Facebook. Did. He did it. Oh, my God. No, she no. wiped the cream on her face. No, no. See, this is, this is what... Yeah, so let's talk about this. This is what happened. He had an ingrown hair, and he didn't know what it was. <laughs> on his balls. That would be his penis. At least he has some. <laughs> God. He had an ingrown hair and didn't know what it was, so he went on Amazon or eBay or whatever and got this cream, but then it cleared up within a couple of days, and he's never seen anything since, and he threw everything out except for the box, and I found the box, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> so how do we know it was an ingrown hair? Because yes. we both got tested. And okay, so you and got everything tested. is in the clear. Everything's clear. Yeah. So now that you put, since you put the wart cream stuff on Facebook, maybe we should put your <laughs> test results up there too. <laughs> Just let everybody know it's all good, you know, because I mean, if you guys ever break up, I'm sure you're both gonna have issues. Over there. <laughs> That's if I've ever had issues. Look, she, she <laughs> yeah, not, no issues with Bellatrix, right? Yeah. The, <laughs> That's what? I mean. De la Rouge. De la Rouge. De la Rouge. So, all right. Well, I appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out with us. You're more welcome to hang out the rest of the night. Appreciate you coming out and taking some pictures. Thank you. Are you fanning yourself? Is it hot? No, I'm she needs a fan. You Michelle Lee oil. is working so hard over there. The lights in the, from the, uh, from the videography and photo studio ses- uh, area is making everybody sweat. It is hot down here. It is hot. It is hot. So, here, I got a couple questions for Miss Della Rugi. We asked her some serious questions. I got some, some um, less than serious questions. And the reason we ask you the less than serious questions, a lot of people think that models are all dumb, and I want to just debunk that myth. Okay. So you girls are kicking ass on some of yeah. these questions. Yeah. He's going to take off now. Huh? All right, man. DJ Sketch is out. Let's give him a hand. He's going to Mojo Maine. He's got a gig. 
If you're listening to this, don't think that you'll see DJ sketch later on tonight at Mojo Main because it's like five oh, really? days ago or two years ago. It depends on the date of this taping. You got to look at the dates, folks. So we like to ask a few questions here. So uh, I'm gonna give you this one first. What's an omnivore? An omnivore is, uh, I guess, an animal or, or a human that eats both meat and vegetation. Very good. That was awesome. That was a quick, direct, to the point answer. Um, who is our commander in chief? The president. Which is? Barack Obama. All right, Barack Obama. <laughs> wow. Did you get? Did you see these questions yeah, no. earlier? You're like on top of these she here. Was, she was hanging out back by the. Uh, I wasn't here last week. Really. This is the first time. Oh, she must have listened. Oh, I gotta switch these questions. All right, where do clams come from? Oysters, <laughs> the ocean, I guess. Clam, oysters, the ocean. <laughs> Something like that. Sounds good to me. All right. <laughs> I don't know anything. Come from the water. All right, if you win the Miss Foulmouth Out Pin Up 2012 contest, what would that mean to you? That would mean that it's just an accomplishment and something that I actually follow through on because I pick up so many hobbies and so many interests that I never really follow through on. And um, you know, it would be something that I actually completed and like I feel complete with myself. So you're going to finish through with this? You're going to yeah. show up at our, some of our events and yes. have some fun with us? Going to come back to the show and hang out? Mm-hmm. Both of you? Yeah, she's gonna drag my ass out. Yeah, she's gonna drag much. your ass I'll make out. Sure of it, she's yeah. on and you leash. guys got your uh, your uh, your dude back there. That's yeah, Brian. he's an escort. Don't <laughs> he's your me. handler. He yeah. handles you guys and he, he drives you around. What's that? And he pisses on my neighbor's bushes. Right. Shit. All right. Well, we're gonna take a very quick break, and we're gonna play a quick song, and we're gonna come right back with the altar of Dagon. So we'll be right back with the foul mouth house show right after this. Yay!
Good lord, what a day. Is everybody having a good day so far? Yeehaw! It's gonna be about to get better with the altar Dagon. Come on up, guys. I'm gonna scoot you guys over real quick. We are going to next few weeks coming up on September 6th. We have the Great Valley and Von Call. September 13th, we will be visited by Rude Boy Reese and MC Gusto. And we're also doing our Ashley Smack con uh, win a date with Ashley Smack contest. You guys, one of you guys, who's single in the band? Single. Huh? Single, 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 single. All right. So we got some guys we can have. One one guy from the band. We got four. One guy from your band can represent the band in the win a date with Ashley Smack contest. So if you guys want to get in on that, just let me know. We'll get you squeezed in. I got one more spot left. Um, <laughs> September 20th will be Lonery Roaded and Fenris. Fenris, am I saying that right? Am I saying Fenris? Am I saying that correct? Fenris. They are a musical comedy duo. September 27th, it will be Coffin Fly and possibly another guest. And then on October 5th, we're going to be at Mojo Main on Main Street in Newark for our first live remote taping. We'll be there with the Foul Mouth Owl pinup girls and That's inviting. On Wednesday, right? Yes, that is a Wednesday. And we're inviting all the ladies to dress up, come dance a night away with Cough and Fly. And all ladies will get in free. MILFs, Cougars, college girls, all of you, they all get in. No cover. That's right. No cover. Live band. And we're going we to take. We show it. our titties or we can just show up? You, don't have, you can show your titties if yeah. you like to. We will not stop you from showing your titties. <laughs> and don't forget, that is Wednesday, October 5th at Mojo Main on Main Street. I don't think they'll turn either one down. At Main Street in Newark. All titties are welcome. <laughs> and this Saturday is a free show at Mojo. We're going to be there doing a taping. Uh, there's going to be a live performance by Chrome Lord, The Fakirs, Rude Boy, and an acoustic set by Shane Palco. Uh, they're going to be doing giveaways. Uh, we'll gift certificates, and show tickets throughout the night. So we are here with the Altar of Dagon, you guys. Yeah. Seen you guys yeah. Haven't seen you guys in quite some time. What's been going on? Not a whole lot, man. It's been uh, working on getting some of the stuff recorded so we can put out this new EP yeah. that's coming out. Last and time you saw us, we had three songs. Now we have six songs. Now you got six. So we got oh, Cep Cephalopod Dirge, yes. correct? Me and few, uh, Sacculus. And Sacculus. Yes. Cephalopod. Sacculus. And Von what's your Doom. name? Dag and Thunder. Dag and Thunder. And who are the other two guys here? Devilston. <laughs> Devilston, Von Doom, guitar, Big Evil Bass. Big Evil on bass. All right, guys. Well, welcome to the Foul Mouth <laughs> Al Show. Welcome to the Foul Mouth Al Show. real fast? Like super califragilistic, expialidocious. Yeah. Like, Chapel Dagon Thunder, Sacculus Devil. Except the boss. I could barely remember their names. He's like, uh, yes, Stormcrow guy. Big, big guy on bass. Uh, There's a cloud with uh, grass head. Huh? <laughs> yeah, when you hang out with What's the grass up? heads for yeah, a little while, <laughs> you end up with a contact buzz yeah. no matter what. There's Them guys. It's all band. good though, man. Uh -huh. Yeah. They're good. Nothing wrong with that. Those guys, they were fun to hang out with. They had a roll on us. Um, so you guys got some shows coming up? Yeah, we're uh, playing uh, Saturday. It's uh, one of the bands on Cephalopod Records, their CD release, World Lost. Yes. Um, putting out their CD Empowered. It's uh, our second full length off our label. First full length was Alters, Scriptures for This Dead Earth, and that was... Uh, what, like two years ago we put that out? Like uh, beginning of last year. Yeah, see, it's something like that. It feels like two years. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. we're working on We just did this EP, and we're going to put a 30-song double album out in February. 30 so, songs. So that's what we're working on now. Yep. Oh. We've got awesome. about 23 of them together, and we get to write the, the rest of them here. That's old and new. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because when we, when we did the Scriptures album, we did that. Uh, Sacculus programmed all the drums on that, so we didn't have a drummer. Like, it took us forever to get Dag and Thunder. And once we got him, we were, we were good to go. <laughs> Yeah, so yep. now I got to go back and record all the old stuff yeah. and all that good stuff. Get caught so. up with everybody else, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we've been playing together for 12 years. Yeah, he listened to so. the CD, came in, and we played damn near everything on it first try. No, nothing horrible. That's when you know you got the no, right guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, we, yeah, we, we definitely we, got the right guy. <laughs> yeah, we've had drummers, man, but they were more like guitar players so who play drums. Like Sackless, he was our first drummer. Ooh. And then, <laughs> then, yeah, we, got, then we, we got another drummer, and he was a guitar player in a death metal band. Yeah, I so loved it. Rick, he's the, he's the first real drummer we've actually had in the band. 
and now it's like a complete unit. Like the sound's starting to come together. Even how like we wanted it like 12 years ago, we were thinking about all this. So yeah. we've been plotting for years. You That's know, what it takes, man. Yeah, you got to yeah. keep thinking and keep changing and adapting with the environment. And yeah, and you know, and, and it was like we've been in the music in the music scene around Delaware for so long, and we were like, well, let's build a studio. So we opened up Abbey Normal Tattoo and put the recording studio behind it, which is Dirt Studios. And then we were like, well, let's get some bands on the label. And then we grabbed up some of the bands that real good friends of ours, and then we started recording them. So now we're just putting stuff out and get it out there and trying to make a big enough noise so everybody goes wow there's a lot of good metal coming out of delaware you know where's the studio at it's and a, the tattoo shop it's on uh, 1176 elkton road in uh in newark it's in it's newark at, yeah abby normal it's on the tattoo. state line it's right on the state line the mason dixon line what's it called abby what abby normal abby. like young frankenstein elkton road that is, is that 40 279 279 newark elkton road <laughs> newark elkton road it's right on the state line before uh, state line liquors, or actually it was Pat's liquors. Everybody remember when Delaware oh, yeah. had blue laws. Everybody knew where that is. Yeah, it's yeah. right before it's that liquor shop. It's his shop. Man. It's <laughs> big his tattoo shop. shop. No, uh, big Evil owns a tattoo shop. He's a tattoo artist. Does great work. He does all our tattoos. I see you guys have, are loaded up with tattoos there. Yeah, we're all yeah, tatted pay? up. Right? <laughs> Perk. So they all, <laughs> so they all the owe band. you tons of money. <laughs> yeah, pretty it? much, man. We're all slaved as big evil over right? here. You know? Yeah. He'll record you, yeah, yeah, yeah. or he'll tattoo you if, if you'll record him. Is that how it works? Should now, I get film out there on my ass? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Sure, right now. Yeah. Yes. Let's go right here. We'll do that live. That should be in the box of doom. Yeah, we can come out to. You can come out to that. Tattoo shop. Get an FMA. Shop. We'll make a logo that's just FMA, and then we'll put it in a box of doom. If you draw that, you got to get a foul mouth Jeez. owl tattoo. There you go. There you go. I'll do it. See, you got one of the best artists in Delaware. And we got to come up with that logo, it sounds like, folks. <laughs> Send in your yes. ideas. <laughs> the foul mouth owl show. All right. Well, we got a game that we like to play here. We started last week. I think we're going to try it again this week. It's called Name That Artist. It's kind of like the old Name That Tune game. Oh, sure. But it's Name yeah. That Artist. Now, can we have you, <laughs> you girls want to play? We got the young young ladies here. Models want to play. Where's Miss Deanna at? You don't want to hear yourself, guys. <laughs> the old hat. God, really six, what, six years old, you guys? How old are you? 24. No. Oh, five. <laughs> so old. Hey, I just realized I was 287. Yeah, you're all way younger than us. He just years. did the math on Oof. that. <laughs> Who wants to play? These guys are in. You guys are up. You're in. Name that What's this warning of, of this if you get something yeah, wrong? Where's our loser at? What are the downsides to this? She left too. Where's our squig? Michelle, is there room on your lap for my fat ass? So here's, have you guys, who's who's listened to the show and understands how our games work here? Obviously, nobody, or you wouldn't have been running up to the table so fast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Notice I backed up. <laughs> I noticed you guys in the back were not jumping. They're like, nah, we're good. They know Sorry. what the deal is. That's all right. So we play this game, and we keep a score. And at the end of the game, you do not want to? Lose. Lose. You do not want to lose. Why you do want to? Win. Win. Because if you win, what are you going to do? <laughs> you get to pick for the loser from the oh, box, box of doom. doom. Oh man! The fate for the loser from the box of doom. That's so currently, I have got to pull up my questions here. Mm. And the show is edited, so don't judge it by what's happening here tonight. It will be edited down, and it will be awesome, and you will like it, and your friends will like it, or we will hunt you down and fucking kill you. <laughs> I was listening the other day. Maybe in a minute. Huh? Did, were you checking yeah, it out? Check it out. No, I spent I, a lot of I, I time producing doing, it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I've been listening to you guys all week. At least you're not like. We were. I knew you were hey, a swinger. Question can you can swing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. We don't. <laughs> you could swing. What's up? What's wrong with swinging? <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. Weren't you guys recently on there? We were on, on that show. We were on about a month and a half yeah, ago. You. you were the one who brought us no, on. No, no, there was. A, oh no, it was. Uh, oh, it was Low Down 302 that went there. That's who I'm yeah. thinking of. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's cool. Squig at? He's out front of me. Huh? What's he doing? I don't know. Talking, Mike. Yeah. Nice text him to come. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tell him and uh, Mike because they should both play. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I think my battery kicked. Hey, I'm gonna email. I'm gonna call these guys. They're fucking outside. Fucking around, holding up our Shit, game. I just got power back today. I didn't 
power out for four days. Did you? Yeah, it oh sucked God. balls, man. God damn. So uh, it was. I was like going to go cannibal on my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Licking his chops. Cages. I'm walking outside like, crush you. Oh, give me your fucking shit now. <laughs> she with my bastard sword. You got to text him, man. You can't call his number. I'll call his boyfriend he's out there talking to. One of these fags will enter the fence. <laughs> hey. Oh, Jesus. If there's Wherever anything wrong with gay right? people, huh? <laughs> Whoever ain't got their mouth full? Yeah. Hello? 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 Hey, you guys, we're waiting on you to Yo. play a game. Get your gay ass down here. Uh, I'm taking off, man. He's, uh, he's getting ready to come down. Why? Where are you going? I don't know. I just, uh... Come on, Mike. Did your uh, wife call? Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Did your wife call? What, your wife won't let you play? Hello? Gee, sounds like he's mumbling to me. Uh, I think salt, I think salt's on restriction. They don't know we're listening now. He'll get his ass down here. Maybe we should rig it and give you guys the answer so Squig yeah, loses for sure. Cool. How about that? Ha, ha, ha. He'll do himself in anyway. Yeah, He'll he do it. Does. He always does. I always set, set him up. See, I set up answers that, that he thinks he'll know the answer to. I know he'll ruin. So it's like songs? This is uh, Name That on. Artist. Uh -huh. Here's the deal. We got five or four different, one, two, three, four, five categories. Each category is worth a different points. We have old school tunes, new music, comedy, or, com or musical comedy, or a comedy of some sort, something to do with music, popular artist, and one final artist. In the final round, the final uh, round is worth 500 points. It's one tune. So if you get it, you get 500 points. If you lose, you lose 500 so wait, points. So there's no way, though, for you to, like, if, say you win all the ones before it, could you possibly beat that last person? Let's see, two, three, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Sure, sure, sure. You're not supposed to tally it up. You just play the game. Well, I don't don't get technical. Just, just lose, Come on, Squig. Come on, Squig. Waiting on you. Come on, man. Waiting on you. Oh Tell Lenny we said what's up. So, the whole point of our show is to bring awareness to the local music scene. And uh, I'm finding that some of these young kids don't know much about rock and roll music these days. And on the other side of it, us old folks don't know much about the new stuff that's going on. So maybe this is a good place for us to bridge that gap. And give us two Leonard Skinner songs. You got to pick from the Box of Doom. Now. And not the pop. This is your opportunity to get out of the, doing the work you were supposed to do, which you got to pick for the Box of Doom. If you give me two Skinner songs right now, I'll let you out of it. Oh my God. Give me three steps. He's got one. There's one more. This is after six, seven. This is the seventh week of the yes. Foul Mouth Thou Show. We've been educating this bitch for seven weeks. Hey, Ian, didn't I tell you last time I saw you what to do? Remember? Oh, you can Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Google it. 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 You're going to come just by yourself? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> he knocks on the door. Oh, <laughs> this segment's brought to you by the Fleshlight. <laughs> All right, Ian, what do you got? Pick something out of there, buddy. Doom. Box of Doom. I don't do free. Just do it. Man, you better hope not. You better here. Open. No, you can't open it. Give it to me. Give it to me. You can't read it. Give it to me. Bring the box back up. Put it up. He's he was digging through. All right, kids. Here, uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell us what we tell us what he's won, Michelle. The educated one. I will, I will take pictures. At an undisclosed time, Ian will streak down Main Street, Newark. That's right. With the foulmouthout.com yes. on his chest. With Michelle in the car close behind taking photos. Yes. yes. <laughs> with At an undisclosed the time. <laughs> 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 and specific location, 
Hey, you got any alternate to be on, uh, bumper stickers? Yeah, announced after it happened. Yeah. Wait, he doesn't have to be fully naked, right? He has to no, be he's going to be a thong. Oh. 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 Can oh. it say oh. foul mouth oh. out on the front? Oh. Like, oh. Like, oh. Like, oh. It's going to be a little Absolutely part. can say foul mouth out on the front of his thong. You got to do his whole back. You can wear my leather pants. Speaking of thongs, where's my natty knit? That's what I just told him. You didn't send me the measure. My natty knit. I can go get my stuff and I can knit one now. Nah. Well, you should be knitting. You should be over there crocheting. and I tell you what. Um, I wanted to call it Schlong Thong. <laughs> he said Natty Knit, but it's a Schlong Thong. Right? Miss Bellatrix is the manufacturer of the uh, Natty Knits. They are um, <laughs> they're a nice little warm thing for your nad. So uh, we're going to have Ian wear that <laughs> while he streaks <laughs> down Main <laughs> Street New York. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That way, Just he's not subject to a uh, sex predator and sex offender list thing if he yeah. gets arrested. He's going to get. We want to minimize his charges <laughs> if he gets arrested and keep him out of the felony range. So, good job, Ian. Appreciate that. So, he always wanted. He wanted to do that. He wanted to do that. He wanted to do that. It's like a skinhead. All right, folks. Here's how it works. We're going to start the game now. Name that tune. We need chips. I got chips right here. The old, this is old school tunes. They're worth 50 points each, and there's five tunes in this round. So yes, you can, you can win without getting the last question. Okay. Okay. So you have to just get a lot of answers correct. Okay. All right, here we go, kids. I gotta hide my answers here from you guys. Where are you going, Squig? My phone, bitch. I just want one of these for school. <laughs> Squig's, yeah. Squig's going to show you how to Google it. answers real quick. There's a. I had a software. I have to. I have to plug this app that I had for my iPhone. If you ever have a song that you hear, Shazam. Shazam. Yeah. And you don't know what it is, Shazam it. You you download Shazam. You hear the songs playing in the room somewhere. You hit Shazam and you hold it up. It'll and it boom, up. it'll it'll pick it up and tell you what Good song is, who the artist is. <laughs> Shazam! So you Shazam. check out that app. Shazam! Shazam! Shazam. 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 Yeah, we should write. We should create our own app and call it Kapow or something. Shazam! Crossfire! You'll get caught up in the crossfire. Yeah. Crossfire! Remember that video? Crossfire! We have a videography studio here, so we can make videos. Oh yeah! High def, high def. Deanna is on fire over there. So are you oh, kids ready? I, I got to give you answer chips. That's what we're leaning for. Oh, man. That's what Michelle said. I told you you're the boss. Just slap me, That's damn it. What, I, mean, you weren't I know. Listening to and I wasn't listening. Just slap me. I say, I, say, I got him here. You say, Psh. Albert, get that goddamn chip. Get your body chip, Miss Ashley. This thing, Sir. Get a hand in the now, this is your answer chip. Put the chip in front of you. Cover it with your hand if you got the answer. Hey, do Ashley, not blurt what you, out. Do what are you hoping? Um, do not blurt out an answer. If you blurt out an answer, correct or not, you lose it's points. And at the end of the game, you do not want to have the lowest points. I just want to see if it's like. Are you guys ready? Yes. Saying. All right. <laughs> ready. The, the first round. They get harder as we go. First, uh, first uh, round, kids. Is everybody ready? Uh, get your hands down. Hands next on your. Uh, ready, Miss Ashley? You watching her hands? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go, kids. Name the 70s rock band that is still kicking it today. AG. ACDC. ACDC. He got it, 50 points. The Reds got the concert, cuz he knows them all. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your name, dude? Uh, uh, Dag and Dag and Thunder. Dag and Thunder. Dag and Thunder got it. I don't even know you guys' as code done. names. Dag and Thunder, Sacculus, <laughs> Cephalopod. Cephalopod. Yeah, Sacculus and Saggy Thunder. Sacculus. 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 You're going to have to tell him yeah, what Sacculus is. Like war. <laughs> no, it's not Jizz that, man. Mac. Yes, yes. He's got Sacculus big balls. Big balls. All right, go ahead. Hot tell, him why his name's, tell him why his name's Sacculus. <laughs> tell him what it is. Beep, beep, beep. Slide that mic out, Pinch. Yeah. All right. Sacculus is part of the inner ear. It's really small. And when you listen to loud music... It releases endorphins. Nice. So very good. That's when first really showed good. up in uh, animals like the shark. Yeah, the shark. So loud music releases yeah. endorphins, and we feel good. Yeah, exactly. I didn't so know awesome. that. Awesome. awesome. That's what he does. Right. Loud metal's it's like fuck. This is good at loud music. All right, so. Yeah. Well, how many times have awesome. you actually? I've done it a lot of times. Heard a song and just get chills and 
just everything, and it's just great. Yeah. Boing. He gets all saccular. He gets a wooden. <laughs> <laughs> get some woody. All right, here we go, guys. All right, all right. So does everybody get this? Do you understand how the game works now? Here is the name this early rock artist that took the U.S. by storm. Michelle. Michelle got the Beatles. That was an easy one, huh? These are the easy 50-pointers, kids. They call me Fasty McWallace. All right. Great rock band from the 70s kicked it with this song, making fun of Japanese sci fi. Uh-huh. Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster <laughs> Cult. <laughs> days, <man. laughs> <laughs> well, I got a hit. He's going to go on in. Dag and Thunder with 100 points in the lead. Michelle with 50. Everybody else tied for last for the box of doom. <laughs> 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 Do I got to slam it, man? Because. I was on that. You got to be on yeah, it. Right? You got to be on, on it. Shit, man. Jump Somebody. on it. Producer, you better be looking to see who hits this Yeah, producer. Shit first. Keep, keep your eye on these guys. Help Miss Ashley. All the way over Bonnie's there. all, I mean, uh, all right. Ashley's all one eyed on us over here. One eyed? What are you talking about? You're like, dang it, thunder. <laughs> <laughs> all right, don't forget. <laughs> What's the deal with that funky ass stench over there? Who is this artist? Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner! Yeah. Oh. Dag and Thunder. No wonder they call him Thunder. He's striking before... <laughs> that, was, like, that was good. He should be called Dag and Lightning. Good Lord. Dag gone. Dag gone! <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, go on. Like shit. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. This is the last one in the easy round here. This Jeez. popular artist told everyone how he heard... He knew his lover was going to leave him. Oh, this is a damn live. <laughs> no, he cheated. Don't uh, that was funny, Mark. Who is it? I know what oh, 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 I know this. I know this. Um, know. shit. Ronnie G. Otis Redding. There you go. Otis Redding. California Raisins. Incorrect. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> no, Otis Redding is it. Ronnie G got it. I've never heard that version. Yeah, ever. I was like, me neither. That was a bad one. That threw me off. The version. You didn't even know who it was. You're yes, I did. Look at that. Shit, Ronnie. But you. All right. Here's a, the the uh, the stakes go up now, kids. Stakes go up. It's 75 points each. We only got four tunes in this category. The category is new music. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, God, emo. Mm. Pay attention. Foul Mouth Al plays new music on his radio too, on his show right. too. So you guys got to pay attention. This is this is important here. This is your scene. It could be. And so it velvety. Not. So velvety. Sixty-six, six point six. <laughs> <laughs> this group is burning up the road and setting things on fire. Name them. Uh, I got it. Uh, <laughs> That's a uh, the band from Newark called Alter Dagon. Yes, <laughs> Alter Dagon. <laughs> Cephalopod got himself yeah. 75 oh, points. Kind of that's 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 from, I'm getting it. You got me chapped. I'm chapped. Yeah, we should all hit that. Uh-huh. Yeah, you guys should have been on it. I don't know how your band members didn't get that. <laughs> they were. I knew it. I heard it. I knew Chapel happened. Yeah, Dagon Thunder was like, I'm going to sleep here, so whatever happens, if I lose, I'll. Are you doodling poop? Yeah, what the hell? What are you doing? Shelly Poop. I thought she was writing shit, and I'm like, hold on. They're doodling poop. She was drawing shit. That's Ian's production pad. He's They're getting something done on Ian's production Pet. All Let's right. Fuck Albert. All right, here we go. Name the artist that has been on top of the charts for the last. Wait a minute. Is this the right one? Been on top of the charts the last several weeks. This is new music, kids. I know this song because I'm like kids. Mm-hmm. That's all I know. You got me. We got another <laughs> gonger. Ronnie G, taking a guess. Hey, I, I, hear this song I see these young ladies over here know who it is. Hey, I know too. Right, <laughs> well, you know who it is? Yep. Can you can you name <laughs> who is uh, featuring? Oh God, who is it? It's Katy Perry. Man. Katy Perry. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, who's who's featured in that song? Oh, Tell us, Salt or Relly? Salt and Relish. Huh? Salt and Relish. 
All right, guys, this is the last one in the new music round. 75 pointer. These guys are the newest artists we've played tonight, and they are on their way to the top. I know it. It's a shame. Oh my god. Come on, make that. Ow! Who's the opening to the show? Press them up. Yep. They weren't first, they were. Ronnie G. The Last Valorians. Very good. Had to give him a guess. You guys. So that was a 75 pointer. Man, that's an interesting thing. I think he likes the box. <laughs> no, he's, he's afraid to lose. Uh-oh. Squig and Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Squig and Sackalus and Deanna. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Didn't you get one, Deanna? I thought Deanna got one. I guess not. Deanna's doodling poop also. All right, so now we're at the comedy <laughs> round. I'm doing my poop ass. Which is good at comedy. I'll kiss your poop ass. We're at the comedy round here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the hell did I do now? Give her a big childbirth. Okay, this comedy round. Start here. Stop, bitch. <laughs> Give me my shit. He keeps fucking with me. Ronnie G, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> the photographer said, fucking with me. <laughs> All right, kids. I would the thing. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> here we go. Comedy round. I want you to name this popular radio DJ as he loses his temper from yesteryear. Who was it? Who was first? Sackulus. Very good. Yeah. This is 100 points. There, listen. AKA it's funny. Shaggy. Over his show. Yeah, Shaggy. <laughs> Here, listen to this. Cincinnati, Ohio. And here's what he writes. Dear Casey, this may seem to be a strange dedication request, but I'm quite sincere, and it'll mean a lot if you play it. Recently, there was a death in our family. He was a little dog named Snuggles, but he was most certainly a part of... Let's come start again. Roscoe. I'm coming out of the record. Play the record, okay? Please. See, when you come out of those up-tempo goddamn numbers, man, it's impossible to make those transitions. And then you got to go into somebody dying. You know, they do this to me all the time. I don't know what the hell they do it for, but goddamn it, if we can't come out of a soul record, I don't understand it. Is Don on the phone? Okay, I want a goddamn concerted effort to come out of a record that isn't a fucking up-tempo record. Every time I do a goddamn get dedication. Now, make it, and I also want to know what happened to the pictures I was supposed to see this week. This is a god last goddamn time. I want somebody to use his fucking brain to not come out of a goddamn record that is uh up tempo and I gotta talk about a fucking dog dying. <laughs> Casey Kasem, ladies and gentlemen. Show us Casey, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Casey Kasem. So he started off our uh, angry man. our comedy round. Miss Deanna's over here drawing like mad. Let's nice see what picture. she's got on here. People dying. She's got a young lady with me. a it's rogue. She's rogue. <laughs> what do you say? And a middle finger up. Looks like a pasty on. <laughs> it's up a little. Uh huh. And she's saying, "Smack my ass." It looks like Ashley Smack saying, "Smack me." <laughs> I missed it, didn't I? I think that's a de- defibrillator patch. Is that that's what that is? That's the X Men patch on her body. She's an X woman. X woman. <laughs> The dork in me just completely lost its soul. Uh, <laughs> no, you're cool. We all feel like dorks, too. We're all dorks. Hey, it's Tuesday, and everybody's here. There's fucking 20 people in my basement. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, the there studio. Was <laughs> there was more than that a little while ago. All right, back to the uh, here we go again. Back to the comedy oh. round. Let's name this uh, popular um, singer Netflix, of this song from Comedy Central's popular show, South Park. Oh. Who is the singer? Kyle. Michelle, it's Kyle. <laughs> it's Kyle. That was all good. I was going to say Carl. I was waiting for Cartman and I was wrong. It's hard to be a Jew at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I haven't gotten a black chick. Hey, y'all. You're in the higher I'm category. I'm getting two points now. Hey, Kyle. All right, so Jews hey, not getting any Christmas presents. We know that. Stop it, Stanley. Kyle. Yeah. I said hey, Jews hey, not hey, getting Christmas. Shut the fuck, fuck up. Fuck you. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. 
I was going to. I was going to do that one. Gotta stand my third time. Good poor Albert. She's awesome. She's taking all my shit. Will, what a great audience. Want to host the show? Hey, you want your own show? Come on over. I don't know. I might die. Oh my god. I don't want to be grounded. That's fucking great. Oh my god. Can you come back tomorrow and just read some stuff on the record for me? Hello, children. She's got to read some say, stuff now. Like with salty bubbles. All right. <laughs> I'm going right. to make love to who your children. I'm going to make love to the children. I wish you were my teacher in school. Oh, shit. All right. All right. This next one in the comedy round is a spinoff of another popular Christmas song. What was the name of that Christmas song? <laughs> that was a three-way. It that all went at the same way. time. Yeah, so we should all go. Uh, all right. Was Jingle Bell Rock. It was Jingle Bell Rock. So who gets the points? They all, all three get points. All three of them. They all three didn't answer. That's right. Nobody, so what we got to do? Oh. You, you got to take That's control of that thing. shit. I'm going to have to that make electronic is, buzzers. This game is hardcore. Like, I'm sure, cutting my sister. That's my sister. I'm cutting her. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, what are we doing? How are we good? <laughs> Ashley, I'll let you decide. Everybody get points? <laughs> Everybody get points or just cephalopod? Yeah, give them all. Give them all points. Everybody gets points. Michelle, Ronnie G. Who else? That was it? All right. All right. All right. All right, so that ended our comedy round. Here's our popular artist round. There's only two tunes. These are worth 200 points each. Bet carefully. Are you ready? I said bet Are you ready? You're not playing anymore. Yeah. Until Squid gets some points, and then you're in jeopardy for the box of doom. You can't quit that. Uh huh. She said she's got the box of doom right there. It's a hot box. She's got your box of doom. It's a tuck, don't. don't All right, bare naked late. Taco with beef. I said tuck, but that's oh, shit. Uh, you know, whatever. I read the wrong thing. Read the damn answer. <laughs> Dummy. Dumbass. This artist is celebrated throughout the world, even though he's been deceased for several decades. I got that shit. Oh my God. Elvis. Elvis Presley. Elvis is the answer for 200 points. Why are you covering your chest? Don't oh, get mad because you're losing, cuz. Do you lose on purpose? Hell no, I swear to God, I'm scared. I swear to God, on my mom's life, which is still alive, I hate this. What's up there, Captain Conver? I just got bad luck. I don't ever win anything. I don't gamble. You're not really trying. No, your hand's not like this. No, I'm not a loser, but I lose a game. I'm not a winner. <laughs> I'll choke you. <laughs> well, sign me up for that. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That's what I want. All right, popular artist round. Right, Here, right. This guy is on the charts right now. Name him. It's actually a girl. Oh, on the charts right now. The young people in the room are going, yeah! It's only me, and us old fucks are over here. <laughs> Who is it? I have no idea. Wrong crowd, sorry. <laughs> no answer? Gong, too late. It was Nicki Minaj. Uh, Nicki Minaj. 200 right. points out the door, kids. Yeah, yeah. 200 points out the door. All right, kids, where's the points at right now? I got 250. I'm killing it. Squig is down the drain. I got 150. One. No, that's, that's your... Uh, three, Check it out. Four, Check it out. Two and a quarter. Oh, I lost 50. one of my chips. 451. 451. So, Squig, you got to get this right in order to win. Wow. Is this the big one? This is the last question, folks, for the Box of Doom. Box of Doom. Concentrate, beard. And it's not an easy one. And I need the artist, please. Are you guys ready? Just the artist. I hate country. Really? Oh, What the fuck? Guys, don't know this. Look at me, man. 500 points, man. Hank Squid. Williams Jr. You got it, Hank Williams Jr. Hank Williams Jr. Yay! Captain Constantine.
you threw in the end like, yo, bitch, 500. I was like, you better yeah, hope that you got that right. Dagon Thunder, Thunder got it there. for 500 yeah. points. Dagon Thunder. <laughs> Representing the altar, job. Dagon yeah. kicked yeah. ass and named that artist with the foul mouth out yeah, show. Bullshit. So yeah. he wins. Yeah, he huh? wins. Winner. Deanna is leaving us. He loses. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See you, Deanna. More like nachos. Thank you for coming. Thank you for hanging out. Bye. Thanks for coming. Thank you for the pictures. Oh, thank you. Thank you. thank you very much. You were awesome. Very simple people. My very small penis. <laughs> See you. See you. Have fun at Pop Color See you. Night. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Literally. Literally. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So it looks like Dag and Thunder over here gets to pick the box of doom. Uh -oh. For squid. Yeah. Shake that baby up. Shake her up. There's a couple new ones. Oh, he's picking. Yeah, he's the winner, dipshit. Now you're gonna make him hate the band and shit. You're gonna be like, goddamn all their dag on. Goddamn drummer. Dislike. I mean, dislike. 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 What do we got? Oh, fuck. Go ahead and read it out loud. Make out with. His stomach ulcers acting Maybe he'll be running with Ian. He might be. Yeah. The hell does that say? <laughs> it better not say nothing like that. It says, hot mix blending. Oh, oh hot ah, mix blending. Ah, I'm done drinking. <laughs> looks, like, looks like Squig's gonna have to have a well, drink here. I don't even eat hot wings. You know why? It makes me purple. Yeah. <laughs> what that hot shit, man? Well, well now you're gonna have. <laughs> you're gonna purple. Your belly. <laughs> Yeah, you need purple all all right. Right. Look, I work. Nah, but you know what? I'm just walking shit, and, and guess what? <laughs> the like, residents do it all day it. with dresses and no drawers, just walking and shitting on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Now you're gonna do like it this. too. <laughs> I'll point at this motherfucker. See, y'all, these guys don't know. These guys don't know. Squig is a squig is a he is the head chef at an old folks home. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, he loves the old name. people, so he cooks for them. That's awesome, dude. Thanks. And guess That's what? And he it steals, awesome. he steals yeah. their depends, and, and he does all kinds of some rude shit to them. <laughs> no, I always <laughs> not be because I shit myself. I have wet drinks. It Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got oh, that man. one good, Howard. So, uh, all right, so pass your chips back up, kids. Yeah, Looks like we got to make a hot so mix blending in the break for Squigola. Wow, that's some weight on it. Squig. Magic catching up with this. Oh, I need this. Squig is yeah, kicking need, ass on the box of doom. <laughs> Always. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come right back, and we'll be back with some supermodels and Alter Dagon and Michelle Lee Photography. And Ronnie G and Squig and the rest of the Foul Mouth Out crew and Ashley oh, Smack. Right. We'll be back in a few minutes with the Foul Mouth Out show. Woo! Yeah! Fantastic! Hey, y'all, this is Buck Tooth Jack. Check it out. One day I sent my old lady out to get me some bar. While walking out, she turned and asked me, she said, What kind of bar you want? I said, Foul Mouth Out bar. That bitch bought me some old Milwaukee lights, smart ass. Anyway, turn into the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Coming up on Cephalopod Records, it's Altar of Dagon's new EP, The Crawling Chaos, coming out for digital download on September 13th for only three bucks. You can download it at ReverbNation.com slash Altar of Dagon. Also, for all your recording needs, give Dirge Studios a call. 302-218-1501 and check out cephalopodrecords.com. Abby Normal Tattoo is where you want to go if you want to get inked up. Check them out. Abby Normal Tattoo in Newark, Delaware. 302-367-7086. Check out Altar of Dagon September 17th at Coyotes in Seaford, Delaware.
let's do what, uh, you, well, you got some good, let's, um, yeah, back at the foul mouth owl show. Everybody's vacated the building. Bless you, my child. We just had a big Maybe. brain fart here. I have, uh, <laughs> we did not tape a segment that we missed, a little bit of a segment where Squig drank his drink of drinks, his hot mix blendy. We missed uh, a few plugs for Alter Dagon, which I'm going to make up to those guys. And um, I think we'll take and put the video up. So look around for a video of Squig eating something, drinking something nasty. And Salt stirred it with something that Squig might or might not approve of. And you won't find out what that is, and Squig won't either, until the video comes out. So look for the video. It may already be out because i got to get it out. It's my nipple. She wishes. Sure. He wishes. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see. Was there anything in the news this week, Miss Ashley? Yeah, there was a couple things, but I'm just going to narrow it down to this one. We're going to learn some new vocabulary words, boys and girls. This is from the BBC News. New body liquefaction unit unveiled in Florida funeral home. This is a new way to. That's got to be liquefaction. I think it's liquefaction. Liquefaction, yeah. Liquefaction. Okay, here's our words. Liquefaction. We're going to learn about. Uh, where was the other What's big liquefaction? word? What's liquefaction? All right. You, it's a liquefaction unit unveiled in Florida funeral yes. home. It's mm. a Glasgow based company has installed its first commercial alkaline hydrolysis unit in a Florida funeral home. Because everybody's going green now, trying to be green with death. <laughs> the unit by Resumation Limited is built as a green alternative to cremation and works by dissolving the body in heated alkaline water. Nice. I just got like a visual of a French fry falling in a yeah boiling up bottle of uh, <laughs> batter of oil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The facility has been installed in Anderson McQueen Funeral Homes in State St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. I haven't drank anything and I can't read. This will be used for the first time in the coming weeks. It is hoped after the unit will follow the U.S. and Canada, well, that's whatever. What it means, okay, yeah. Start drinking. <laughs> yeah, you read I know. It good, you drink it. Now, last week was terrible. The makers claim the process like, produces a third less greenhouse gas than cremation, uses a seventh of the energy, and allows for the complete separation of dental amalgam for safe disposal, which I didn't even think was an issue. Out. Now that I'm reading that, my shirt. Mercury from aval amalgam vaporized in crematoria is blamed for up to 16% of UK airborne mercury emissions. And many UK crematoria are cu currently fitting mercury filtration systems to meet reduced emission targets. Resumation was developed in response to the public's increasing environmental concerns. It gives them the positive third choice and allows them to express these concerns in a positive way of thinking. The system works by submerging the body in a solution of water and potassium hydroxide, which is pressurized at 10 atmospheres and heated to 180 degrees Celsius for between two and a half to three hours. Wow. Are you well done at that point? <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing. Body tissue is dissolved and the liquid poured into the municipal water system. Mr. Sullivan, a biochemist by training, says tests have proven that the affluent mm -hmm. is sterile and contains no DA and DNA and poses no environmental risk. The bones are then removed from the unit and processed in a cremulator. <laughs> Very good. The same machine that is used to crush bone fragments following cremation into ash. Metals including mercury and artificial joints and implants are safely removed. Wow, that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Imagine burning somebody up and having like a fillings. Yeah, you collect all the gold and then... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of dust, dental fillings, an artificial hip, <laughs> an ear, uh, ear implant, who knows what else. All right, another system of uh, taking care of yourself after death. They're looking into freeze-drying. This is another green alternative to cremation. How can that be green? Who the hell knows? We're, let me read on. Uh, alternative to cremation is in the pipeline. Susan... Why Masik, a Swedish biologist, has for a decade, decade proposed a technology she calls Promission. The process involves a fully automated and patented machine. Coffins are fed into one end, the body removed from the coffin within the unit, and then treated with liquid nitrogen. The body is then vibrated until the body fragments 
after which the remains are dried and refined further, then passed through the filters to remove metals, including dental amalgam. The remains are then poured into a square biodegradable coffin, again automatically for a shallow burial. Hey, Ashley. Yes. Is that how they make bath sauce? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> It might be. Fuck you, Ronnie (laughs) Jane! It only takes two to three weeks before the kitchen and garden waste is soiled, so this is what inspired me to really see if not only the kitchen and garden waste, but also everything organic, including us. Could be treated this way, which is really becoming soil. They've tested this on pigs. Oh, look, and they even fitted the pig with a hip replacement prior to death to see how uh, the efficiency of the metal joint could be removed during the process. Super. Boy, they thought of everything. Did they put a filling in its tooth, too? What are you guys doing over there? They're whacking it, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm they're reading the news, and these guys are jerking they're it off. They're whacking it to your news. That's great. Oh, you mean like what uh, he drank earlier? Yeah. Well, it. It's going. There was some whacking that went along with that. Mm-hmm. What, hot sauce? There ain't no whacking going on. <laughs> if I eat crabs, I don't jerk off that night. That's fucking old baby. <laughs> Yeah, they'll burn true. you, boy. They'll, they'll burn still your balls, get you. Bro. You'll be like, oh, my hand is good. <laughs> Please, get burn you. Like, Fuck that. I'm like, I ain't crashing tonight. I'm like, this. <laughs> you, don't want any, you don't want any old bay in the three hole. Oh, for sure. good lord. I start waking like this, like sand in the island. Ow! Oh, fuck! Got to jerk off with a condom on. <laughs> That's good. You or might somebody just else's spit. It, yeah. Or hand. Oh, there you go. Maybe you could just bypass the masturbation that night. No, that's not. <laughs> nah. I gotta sleep somehow, and guess yeah. what? That's the only thing that wakes me up in the morning. Huh? Wow! Waking shit. Let's do this. Another day. I woke up. I can choke it. Damn right. Well, if you wake up with morning wood, it's a good day at our age. You know, I lay in bed on my stomach and blow smoke rings around my cock. <laughs> That's hard as a rock, sticking up just a half, half tea. Half oh, nice. my God. Yeah. I'm glad I don't have a penis. Me too, because you know what? Sometimes <laughs> I can't control him. Motherfucker talking to me, he says, He's controlling oh, you. Oh, i I got some kind of headache. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? He says, take out the pressure. <laughs> so I got <laughs> Yeah, his pressure yeah, He's pressure. backed up it, oop, uh. <laughs> Coming, motherfucker <laughs> He had to relieve it Yeah, me, oh he can't God. take all that He had to all relieve right, it Ian. Ian. <laughs> Ian, where's your supermodel you're supposed to have this week? When no, I know, and you guys were here when I was Army girl, remember? army girl so She bailed on us she said uh, she'll be here tomorrow. Al- I heard Al- that, Al- but heard it. Heard it. I heard you well, she... pay these girls five bucks to act like I want to call you in front show. of my yep. boss and my friends. Yep. <laughs> you do that for five bucks. I heard. Look, he's, he's turned red. Yeah, yeah. True. His skin had we're, turned red. Yeah, because now you look crazy. Well, oh, really? It's that bad. I look like a red. Yeah, head. you look like a skin. No, you just look like you got released from the prison. Or he's fresh out the joint. Yeah, and you look poor. It's only going to get on. You look poor. <laughs> he just did it. Yeah, he He's looks just poor. Doing it. it looks like he just broke, got broke. All right, well. That's terrible. <laughs> it's falling apart over here on the Foul Mouth Owl Show. So we're going to wrap it up with uh, some promotions. We got coming up September 6th. Next week, we will be here with the Great Valley and Von Call. Have you talked to the Great Valley or anything with those guys? Have you heard from them? No, I haven't. Okay, They're you need to get They'll be here. They'll, They'll be here. here. Yeah, Make sure you here, talk to them. Make sure you talk to them, and we need to get that um, some information. I don't have any biography or anything uh, on them. Yeah. You know, so you shouldn't week. even start a question out to Ian with the words, have you? Where is? When are you going to have this done by? Nine times out of ten, he smiles, looks around the room, and goes, He goes, my bad, dude. I was just getting ready to do my that. My bad, dude. Yeah, and he always makes <laughs> eye contact with me somewhere. My He's bad, like, dude. September 13th, <laughs> Rude Boy with Reese and MC Gusto. We're also going to be doing the Reese. Win a Date with Ashley Smack contest that night. You want to check that out that week. Are you that might be scary. And she has no really? penis. And she has no Damn penis. Right. Okay. Ronnie is checked. And she's glad of it. September 20th, we will be here with... September 20th with Lonery Roded and Fenris, the musical comedy duo. September 27th, it's Cough and Fly. 
and um, Mojo Main on October 5th. And the only other thing I've got to remind you of is that you've got to tell five friends about Foul Mouth Al for Friday. It's going to change your luck. And what do you got to lose besides fame, fortune, and the rest of your life? Um, and congratulations to World for making it. I don't know about your uh, backup singers, Keisha. They need to be um, backed up with some other backups. That's for damn sure. <laughs> so thanks for joining us and uh, hanging out with the uh, supermodels, Ashley Smack, Ronnie G, Squig, Ian, the producer, Alter Dagon, the Grassheads, and me, Foulmouth Al. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah! <laughs> Ping dong, 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 ping dong